Hi, my name is Robin and I got a quick Power App tip for you today. Microsoft gave us no way to put uh, vertical text in our apps, so I figured out an easy way. I put two HTML text boxes in here and put a border around them so that you can see um, where they are and how they, they stretch out. We need uh, a little bit basic HTML knowledge or you just um, copy paste my source code into your app. So we need an HTML text field and we need um, the HTML text property. We put a div in there and then we use some inline CSS to um, get the rotation going. Important are the position absolute and then the left and top value it de determines um, where your div, so where your sort of container starts. And um, I, yeah, played around a little bit and this is what it comes down to. Just um, copy this uh, this formula. You can uh, play around with the rotation and yeah, see why you have to, to put it this way. If you are on a, a European tenant and have a comma as a decimal separator, you need the round or you need to replace the comma with a dot. So um, HTML needs um, the uh, dot as a uh, decimal separator is a little bit different for the top property here. And the width and height exactly change the other way around. So it's the width is the height of the um, HTML text field and the height is the width because we rotate, rotate it by 90 degrees and then width become height and height becomes width. Hope that makes sense. And the rotation goes on in here. So 270 is um, this orientation. And when you put in 90, it's exactly the other way to, other way around. And because we formatted it like, it like this, we can yeah, get the size that we need and it will automatically fit in there. And what we can do as well is um, do a text align in HTML. So if you want to have it on the bottom, we need to put a right in here because it first gets the text align and then the rotation. So a right um, will fixate it to the bottom. You need to put all the paddings to zero. Um, the default value is five for every padding. If you want to horizontally center the text in this um, in this HTML text field, then you need to do even more work because um, in a normal div there is no um, there is no vertic vertical align. We need a vertical align because we align first and then we turn the thing around. And this exists only in tables. So we need to put a table in there instead of a div. And then we put a um, table row and a cell in there. That's TR and TD. And the text goes in here. This stays all the same. You can, again, get 90 degree or 270 degree for the other way around. And then you can put also a V align on it and use top. Then we have um, the same as here or middle or bottom. Then it gets aligned to the right of the HTML text field. If you want to know what you can else do with HTML text fields in Power Apps, I've got a German video covering that topic and I also got several English videos uh, where I show you what crazy things you can achieve with SVG images in Power Apps. You can find them over there. Thanks for watching.